Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today, we're going to be making a cookie, a portmanteau of a croissant and a cookie. More specifically, a plain butter croissant and a chocolate chip cookie, hence cookie. I think it goes by other names, but it is an actual thing that you can purchase in Paris from Boulangerie Louva, and it is a butter croissant that has chocolate chip cookie dough inside and on the outside, kind of similar to an almond croissant, but instead of almonds, you've got chocolate chip cookie dough. It sounds absolutely fan stinking tastic. So since I live in the Northeast of the U S and not in Paris, I cannot procure one of these beautiful sounding croissants, but I'm going to be making a somewhat homemade version today using croissants that were made at a local bakery and filling it with chocolate chip cookie dough. Now you can use store-bought cookie dough, but I'm going to go to the extra links to make homemade chocolate chip cookie dough because then I'll have extra cookie dough and we can make cookies later. So, Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we need to do is get some croissants. Some people call them croissants. I'm going to probably be saying both in this video, but this morning I went to the bakery with my husband and had a coffee, picked up some croissants, and apparently these are even better if the croissants are a day old, a little bit stale. So today I'm going to be using this cookie dough recipe, and this is my journal. I have a few of these. I write down all the recipes that I test out and try so that if I like them, I don't like them, I write no and then it makes it relatively easy for me to go back to recipes I've tried before or the ones that I like. It's really great and I've been doing this for years. I've got all kinds of recipes in here and including this one and as some of you may know chocolate chip cookies, homemade chocolate chip cookies are my favorite cookie favorite. They're actually hard to find in my opinion a good version at a bakery. So I'm always looking for the best version. There are lots out there, but this one, this one right here by Tara O'Brady is my current favorite. Not only does it make a delicious tasting, beautifully textured chocolate chip cookie, you can make the cookies right away. Unlike other cookie recipes, for example, Jacques Torres's famous chocolate chip cookies, which are absolutely sublime. Those require at least a 24 hour period of resting, which is well worth it, but rarely do I plan 24 hours ahead to make chocolate chip cookies. It's always like, mm, I feel like something sweet. Let's make some cookies. And then they're like, oh, I'm gonna wait 24 hours. I can make them without waiting 24 hours, but then I'm not really, you know what I mean? But this one, no need. And they're fantastic. My youngest kid loves these the best. He says, these are the best. So. Let's go ahead and make some. So the first thing we need to do is preheat our oven, which my oven is doing behind me at 350 degrees. The cookies actually bake a little bit hotter at 360, but since we're making croissants, we're gonna do a little bit lower temperature because the pastries are already baked. Another reason why I love this recipe is that you don't have to have room temperature butter at hand. And rarely do I have the wherewithal to plan ahead and have butter sitting on the counter for my cookies to get it at the right temperature. And then I use the whole microwave thing and it always goes too far. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> this recipe, you don't need to do that. So I've got butter, lots of it, two sticks, and I've cut it up into half inch pieces. And we're gonna put this either in the microwave or in a saucepan, and we're gonna warm it up until it's almost melted. Another thing I like about this recipe besides the butter is that you don't need any special equipment. You don't even need one of these. You can just mix this all up by hand with a wooden spoon or a whisk. I like using this kind of bread whisk because it's got nice big holes, but you don't even need this. A wooden spoon is fine. No electrical appliances necessary. So I think we are there. We are very soft. I'm gonna break up the butter a little bit with my red whisk, just to cream it up a little. And then we're going to add lots of brown sugar and some regular old granulated sugar too. So the amount of brown sugar makes this cookie nice and chewy, like that, yet crisp on the edges, like that too. Okay, so we are mixing this until smooth. Oh, it smells so good already. Next, add our eggs one at a time. Bloop, thank you my hens. Alrighty, egg number two. Oh, 
Alrighty, that's our second egg. Scrape things down a bit. I'm gonna add our vanilla. Just a couple bloops of that. Oh, I love vanilla. All right, that's it for the wet ingredients. It smells so good. Set that aside for a minute. And now we've got some all-purpose flour to which we're going to add some baking soda, baking powder, and salt. Oh, that butter was unsalted butter. I often don't have unsalted butter, so I end up using salted butter. And in that case, I usually use a little less salt if it requires additional salt. You know what I mean? Okay, mixing the dry ingredients together. Now, the dry to the wet. I usually like to do this in a couple batches, just to make things a little easier. Okay, mostly incorporated. Rest of the flour and dry ingredients. See how easy this comes together? Dangerously easy. I like to switch hands so I feel like I get an even workout. Okay, at this point, I'm going to add an entire bag of chocolate chip cookies. Chocolate chips. Not cookies yet, chips. And these are semi-sweet. You can use hand-chopped chocolate if you like, but again, when I want chocolate chip cookies, I usually want them right away. <laughs> and so, depending on what I have in my pantry, I, I may chop up some semi-sweet dark chocolate or whatever chocolate I have, but... More often than not, I'm just gonna grab the chips. So that's that's it, that's for it for our dough. We don't have to rest it, we don't have to do anything. So this makes a total of, how many cookies? Oh my gosh, here, I have notes. See, I'm not joking when I say I put notes at the end of the recipes I test. So this one I have written here, see down there? I said notes, excellent, all in caps, well-rounded chocolate chip cookie, just crisp but Soft, slightly chewy, classic buttery, great thickness, does not overly spread. Youngest kid's favorite so far. Star, best part, no resting time. Bake right away. Ta -da! So if you're making the cookies themselves, you would dole these out in three tablespoon measures, so quite large cookies, and bake them for 10 to 12 minutes and let them sit two minutes before attempting to transfer them because they are soft when they first come out. So, the cookie, we're going to need some croissants. So I went and bought some. And, oh my, these are large croissants. Look at the size of these, will ya? Oh my goodness. My hand for reference. If I put one on my hand, you can't even see my hand. Incredibly huge. Can't even see my face. I mean, it should be like this. All right, back to the croissants. What we're going to do is cut this in half, open it up. Oh, 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 that's beautiful inside. Look at that. Look, it's a butterfly. So beautiful. Here's our gorgeous cookie dough. And because the cookie dough is gonna be inside the croissant, it's gonna be difficult for it to bake. So I'm going to be opting to make it a bit thinner in terms of a layer, I've seen, I've seen some people put cookie scoops of this inside, and rather than doing that, I'm going to opt to make it a little bit flatter. I'm pressing out the cookie dough into a, a patty, a croissant-shaped patty, and layering it on the inside. Make sure that everyone gets some. Beautiful. Close that down. Ooh, that's good. Next, we're gonna take some of this dough, which is great when it's freshly made, and we're just gonna press them right on top, too, just to give it a little extra panache. Oh, this is gonna be divine. But will it be too sweet? Will it be too buttery? That's what I wanna know. I'm not gonna cover it all up, because we wanna still see the croissant. <laughs> now we're going to pop these into a preheated 350 degree oven and bake them for about 15 minutes or until the cookie is nice and golden on the outside and the croissant is nice and crisp. And then we're going to give our cookie a taste. I cannot wait. See you in a little bit.
lovelies, the chocolate chip cookie filled croissant is ready. Oh, and they look fan stinking fantastic. Look at this. Okay, look, 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 look. Amazing, right? Colossally huge, beautiful. Alrighty, my lovelies, the results of my cookie croissant experiment look fan stinking fantastic. Look at that. Enormous, puffy, golden, buttery. They both look fantastic. And then inside we've got more cookie donuts. <laughs> Besides the fact that we are colliding two epically delicious items, croissants and chocolate chip cookies, I think a large part of this appeal is the crunch, that flaky thing that happens when you crush a warmed up croissant. So let's do some crushing, but let's, let's oh, can you hear it? Just croissant handling. Oh, it smells great. It smells like freshly baked cookies, buttery, but also toasted buttery croissant. Kind of like a browned butter smell. It smells fantastic. Let's attempt to break it. Wowzers. Look at that. Ooh la la. So we've got baked cookie on top. We have a definitely soft, oozy goozy cookie dough on the inside, but plenty warm. And then it's like all sandwiched in between flaky buttery croissant. Now, enough said, let's go. It's a doggy mouse. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. It's not ever decadent. Sublime. There's a lot of cookie dough in there, which is oozy and gooey, sweet, a little bit gritty from the sugar in there, warm, full of chocolate. But then on top, you've got this beautiful cookie crust. Mm hmm That gives you that very familiar cookie sensation when you have a freshly baked chocolate chip cookie. You have that light kind of crispness on the outside and then it's cookie in the middle. You have that on top of the croissant. And then you have the croissant underneath it, which is this very flaky, tender, light, layered sensation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. And then it gets all oozy and gooey once again inside it. It's really, really fun. And I'm decadent in a very delightful in terms of an experience, but also in a taste bud experience as well. It combines two things that you're probably familiar with in a very surprising way. And I think that has to do with the combination of textures. Chewy, crisp cookie, flaky, flaky, buttery, layered croissant, and then ooey gooey in the middle. Fans think fantastic. It is sweet, but no sweeter than a chocolate chip cookie experience and not overly heavy. My concern was that because we have butter in the cookie and because the croissants are of course loaded with butter, I've made a homemade version of croissants, by the way. You should check out that video in case you wanna make some yourself. Definitely arduous, but so stinking fantastic and satisfying when you actually have your finished chocolate croissant in your hand. Anyways, I digress. Combination of two beautiful things makes another beautiful thing. That's not always the case, but in this case, definitely true. Let's do some more squishing, shall we? Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh. So let me take it apart. So here's the cookie layer. And then if I open it up, where did I have the hinge? And then I open it up. Can see the gooey cookie inside. Oh my gosh, so so good. I'm covered in chocolate and cookie dough and buttery croissant flakes. Happy girl, happy, happy girl. <laughs> mm. Definitely reach my okay. One more bite of cookie. Oh my gosh, I can't stop. I'm gonna wash my hands. All righty, my lovelies, the things I do for you. <laughs>
Alrighty, my lovelies, there you have it. The Crookie, definitely worth the hype and definitely worth making if you've got some leftover croissants. And if you don't, just make the cookies and you'll still be quite happy. Alrighty, my lovelies, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye. Do I feel a chocolate chip <coughs> cookie burp? Yes, I do.